Hey there Zenyoku family, it's your host Michael Yerby coming at you all from Shreveport, Louisiana, but you can call me Mike. Hey, I'm a Master Sergeant in the United States Air Force and I face my fair share of challenges both in and out of uniform. But today we're diving into something that hits close to home for many of us. What makes vulnerability a strength in personal growth? Taking a leaf from My Hero Academia, we explore how Izuku Midoriya's journey from quirkless nobody to a hero in training can inspire us to see our own vulnerabilities in a new light. Last week, we tackled how embracing life changes fearlessly, drawing wisdom from Naruto's relentless pursuit of his dreams. This week, we're zeroing in on vulnerability with Izuku, aka Deku, with our guide. Through his eyes, we uncover the power of embracing our weaknesses as our greatest strengths. So buckle up as we explore the myths of vulnerability, learning from Deku's journey, and embracing your inner hero. Get ready to break down those barriers and turn your vulnerabilities into your superpower. Myth one, vulnerability is a weakness. Just like Deku showed us, admitting your fears isn't a sign of weakness, but of immense courage. Remember when Deku and Bankago fought in their first combat training? Despite his fear, it was Deku's openness to his vulnerability that allowed him to strategize and ultimately succeed. His vulnerability became his strength, teaching us that facing our fears head on can lead to unexpected victories. Myth two, vulnerability means doing it alone. Deku's journey is anything but solitary. He draws strength from his friends, mentors, and even his rivals. This mirrors the truth that sharing our struggles with others doesn't make us burdensome. It makes us human and connects us more deeply with those around us. So next time you're feeling down, remember, reaching out is the real superpower. Myth three, vulnerability stops progress. If Deku let his lack of quirk stop him, he would have never been chosen by All Might. It's his willingness to be vulnerable and his determination to improve that propels him forward. This shows us that embracing our vulnerabilities can actually be a catalyst for growth and learning, not an obstacle. From these myths, let's see how this applies to real life and our personal growth journey. Embracing vulnerability, Deku's acceptance of his own initial powerlessness is a powerful lesson in embracing our own vulnerabilities. It's not about being powerless, it's about recognizing where we are and where we want to be. This acceptance is the first step to overcoming our limitations. Seeking support, Deku never hesitated to learn from others, whether it was All Might, his classmates, or even his enemies. This teaches us the value of seeking guidance and support, showing that vulnerability can build bridges, not walls. Continuous growth. Each challenge Deku faces is an opportunity for growth. He learns from each fight, each failure, and each victory. This iterative process, learning, failing, and growing is something we can all apply to our personal and professional lives. Let's instill these insights into actionable takeaways. Identify your quirk. We all have unique strengths and weaknesses. Identify what makes you, you. It's the first step in harnessing your personal power. What's your quirk and how can you use it to push forward? Build your hero squad. Just like Deku has his friends and mentors, building a support network is crucial. Only surround yourself with people who uplift you, challenge you, and support your growth. Face challenges head on. Life will throw challenges your way, but like Deku, face them head on, allowing you to grow. Each challenge is an opportunity to learn and become stronger. Today, we walked alongside Deku, learning that vulnerability isn't just about exposing our weakness, but about acknowledging them as a part of our growth. From debunking the myths of vulnerability to embracing our inner hero, we covered the myths of vulnerability. Understanding that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a bridge to connect and grow. Learning from Deku's journey, how embracing vulnerability, seeking support, and continuous growth are pivotal in our personal development journey. Embracing your inner hero, identifying our unique strengths, building a support network, and facing challenges head on. As we wrap up, I challenge you this week to identify one area where you see vulnerability as a weakness and take steps to transform that perspective. How can you turn your vulnerability into your superpower? Reflecting on Deku's journey, what moment resonated with you the most? How can you apply the lessons learned from that moment to your own life? 
If you got thoughts on today's episode or suggestions for future topics, drop a comment below and look for the link, Change the Anime. And don't forget to join the Peak Society on Facebook, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, and also Discord for more discussions and insights. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, like and share this video to join our community of heroes in training. Thanks for tuning in, Zenyoku family. Until next time, keep pushing your limits and turning your vulnerabilities into your greatest strengths. Peace.